Do you want to learn how to center two designs on opposite sides of a tumbler, Christmas ornament, and more when engraving using the RA2 Pro? In this tutorial, I'll be showing you an easy technique using the Xtool F1 and the Xtool Creative Space version 1.6. Stay tuned to learn more. To begin, we first need to measure the perimeter of our ornament. Using the centimeter side of the tape measure included with the RA2 Pro, our Christmas ornament has a perimeter of exactly 21.5 centimeters. Be as precise as possible since this measurement will help align our designs. Now let's open Creative Space. We'll start by switching the engraving method to laser cylindrical and setting the mode to chuck. Here, enter the perimeter measurement in millimeters. So we'll multiply 21.5 centimeters by 10 to get 215 millimeters. With the latest versions of Creative Space, green starting points are now displayed. We will use these to help center the designs. Next, import the two designs to be engraved. Resize and orient them in the correct positions. A helpful tip is to unite the individual parts of each design then horizontally align them to each other and horizontally align both to the workspace. Also, set the y-axis of your top design to zero. For centering, we will create an alignment ruler. Click Insert, then add a rectangle with an unimportant width but a height equal to the ornament's perimeter of 215 millimeters. Our first design has a height of 41 millimeters. What we need to do is offset the start of the ruler to the middle of the first design. So we will set the y-axis of the ruler to half the height of the purple design, which is 20.5 millimeters. Finally, select the second design and ruler, click Align in the toolbar, and select Vertically Align Center. This centers the second logo precisely on the opposite side from the first. The ruler can also be left outside the work area so it will not be engraved. Great! With our designs aligned, just set the engraving parameters. IR laser, 100% power, speed 400, lines per centimeter to 300, and click process. With these ornaments, I like to set up the chuck with the ring attachment. It holds them really nicely, and they don't shift around at all. Just be careful not to over-tighten the chuck. As you can see, once the first logo is done, it rotates to the other side and does the second right away. This is great for batch engraving, because now we can change with love, Velf creations, to with love, mom and dad vertically center with the ruler and do the next ornament. I added a bit of white acrylic paint to the inside, and this is the result, two perfectly centered engravings. Okay, let's also do a tumbler. I have imported my logo and added the ruler. The blue logo is at a y-axis of zero and a height of 68.4 millimeters. The ruler is at a y-axis of 34.2 millimeters, which is half the size of the blue logo, and the ruler's height is a height of 284 millimeters, which is the perimeter of my tumbler. Now I can select the black logo and the ruler. Click Align. Vertically, Align Center for Tumblers. I'd like to do the first pass with the blue light. Power set to 80. Speed set to 400. Lines per centimeter set to 300. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have any suggestions or requests for videos, leave your comments down below. This tumbler looks perfect. Let's take the tape measure and verify that the logos are indeed centered. I am starting on the left side of one V and measuring to the right of the other. Looks like it's exactly 11 and a half centimeters. Now, if we rotate the cup and do the same, the logos should also be 11 and a half centimeters apart. Awesome, it turned out spot on. Thank you so much for watching.